Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how to fix a car that isn't idling correctly. This Mercedes runs okay going down the road, but when you come to a stop, it's shaking, wiggling too much. You can tell it's not running right, but it hasn't yet tripped the check engine light. And being a professional mechanic, I hooked my giant $5,000 scan tool up and found 56 different codes, none of which are related to the engine idling. They are anti lock brake codes, communications for the airbag codes, lots of weird stuff, but nothing that would make it run weird. So we got to start from scratch here. Idling is the most crucial part of your engine when it's working correctly because everything has to be perfect. It can be off a bit when you're going fast and still run okay, but when it's idling, it's gotta be perfect. You gotta have the right amount of air, the right amount of fuel, and the right amount of ignition power to the spark plugs to make the engine ride. So always start with the basics. First thing we're gonna check is the air filter. Take all this plastic stuff out of the way. And in this case, it has two air filters. One on each side. And of course, being a Mercedes Benz, it has to use one of these stupid fancy sockets, in this case, TP20 socket. So you unscrew all the stupid bolts to hold it in place. They got a little carried away here. And off it comes. And they're filthy. So we're gonna change them. Now this baby has two spark plugs per cylinder. It's a V8, so it's got 16 spark plugs. So let's check the spark plugs. It's often near impossible to get these off, so we'll have these pliers, stick them in and wiggle them. Then we got one off. Then we'll use the spark plug socket, wrench, and see what they look like. Hard to get out. They probably been in here a long time. Babies are in there, finally. And as we can see, there's a lot of corrosion on it. These babies have been in a long time, so we're gonna change them out. Now I gotta do 16 of these things. What a pain in the butt. Mercedes Benz in their design. Ford tried that dual spark plug years ago and they gave up with it. Heck, they even used that stuff in World War II. They may think they're high tech, but they're still pretty low tech when it comes to a lot of things like that. Old school. Get them nice and snug. They get up and then a little tug. Then you snap the wire back on. Sometimes it's hard to find. There's not much working room. Uh, there it goes. Now to get to the rest of the spark plugs, you gotta unbolt the coil pack here so you can reach them. Otherwise, there's no working room. So you unbolt all the coil packs and get them out of the way. Now, of course, once you've done the eight on the one side, we gotta do the eight on the other side. This baby is a pain in the behind, but at least it's exactly the same. Now finally, we got all the spark plugs in, all 16 of them, and the coil, and as long as we're here, let's look around for any vacuum leaks. This thing is 15 years old, looking for cracked plastic parts. You can see there's been cracked stuff that's been JB welded back on. A lot of plastic stuff break on these old ones, but we're looking for vacuum lines and stuff that might have cracks or the rubber that's leaking. Well, I don't see any of this 97 degree heat. I'm just gonna put the filters on, start it up and see what happens. Filter just goes back in, screws on this side, line them up and bolt the stupid things back on. Awful long threads on these babies. And this one, even dirtier than the other one. Then you slip the whole thing back on. Back where the air goes. Then slip the sides on. One there, one on this side. And stick the rest of the super beauty cover on. And we unlock it and start it up. And here we go, we come to a stop and idling smooth as silk all the shaking's gone so now you know how to stop a shaking car from doing the shimmy while you're idling a lot of sweat and a little elbow grease you can do it yourself easily so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell